Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to quickly look at how you build an 8S 24 volt battery system with lithium ion phosphate. This is the same BMS that I showed in the previous video. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out. The bottom one is B minus and the top is P minus. Even this is a common port 125 amp hour 8S BMS. There are two ways of connecting it. Either you could solder a silicon wire and uh, any one of the hold you could put that on solder or the other way is that I'm going to use a battery lugs to mount it. So I have a couple of battery lugs with me and I'm going to use a high quality silicon wire and I'm going to crimp it and then just bolt it with a, um, with a nut and bolt and I'll be able to fix it. Because if you want to solder, you need a good solder, which I have, but uh, I mean, I, soldering is not my something that I, I keep doing, so I would prefer not to. I think this should be the easiest way where you could just mount uh, three silicon wires and you could parallel them together and take one common terminal out. So I would use a bigger lug to actually uh, crimp it at the end. Let me just quickly show you how it's done. So I have mounted uh, the, the terminals using M5 nut. On the back you see the nuts here. I just bolted them together. So three wires and then that gets connected to one common, common lugs. So this is the close up. I actually used a high flexible silicon wire because uh, it's easier to work with high flexible wires. And if you see I have uh, crimped a larger lug so this is how it gets connected and you could quickly mount that to the batteries. And uh, you could also use this anytime because soldering means that you're going to fix it at once and uh, you can't increase the wire length. So that's the reason why I preferred this. So now I have connected all the batteries in series, eight batteries. So the first cell would be the the first cell and then at the end the eighth cell would be the negative output so I have quickly put this as a reference so the first cell would get connected uh, to the second cell likewise all the batteries would get connected in series and uh, the negative would go to the BMS in and from there it goes to the negative output and uh, from the positive side I used a high flexible 8 gate silicon wire have crimped it and I mounted or rather I placed the batteries on top of a wooden plank so that it doesn't move much. So this is a 24 volt system. Each battery is going to give you an approximate output of 95 amp hour. Uh, let me quickly show you the voltage as well. So the negative probe is connected to the negative side and the positive probe I'm going to connect it to the positive terminal. So now you should get 27.08. So this is a quick setup on how you could build a 24 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, it's similar to building a 12 volt, just that you add additional four batteries in series. And uh, to hold the batteries, what I did was I used zip ties to hold them. And uh, I actually have five zip ties from the top and one just to hold the BMS to the battery. It's not tight. Because the reason why I'm using this is for my solar purposes where it's not going to move. I'm just going to place it in one place and that's it. So building the system is pretty simple guys. Uh, one thing that you have to keep in mind is to connect the balancing cable correctly and uh, you could use this, uh, you know, inverter. The next video is that I'll show you how I have built my own uh, MPPT controllers and I have how I have built it uh, to charge the batteries. So stay tuned for now. Uh, this is what I did. Uh, and one quick tip is that just keep the fiber play, play, plates uh, along with the battery so that it gives a solid rigidity. So if you have any questions, do leave it in the comment section below. And if you have, uh, if you need any help, do let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned.